In this episode, we're going to dive into the last four key untold truths of the new age millionaire, the missing link that holds most people back, no matter how much money they make, and the key to massive fulfillment and peace of mind after getting real results. Hey, it's Peter Vugan. Welcome to the Young Entrepreneur Lifestyle Podcast. I'm excited to be here, and this is a podcast, whether you're watching on YouTube, listening in your car, that really focuses on building a life and a business on your terms that you're proud of. I've been around so many people that have a business that produces profits, but they hate what they do. Have a business that makes millions, but they don't have a lifestyle. Has a business that gets results, but they don't have any time for their family. That's not a real business. That's just a high paying job, right? So I've been obsessed with everything I've done from the book Six Months, Six Figures to the mixtapes to the podcast to help people create and design their ideal future. So we're gonna dive into the last four. This is part two. If you haven't watched part one, we'll link it below, but make sure you watch that first because that'll give you some context on these last four untold truths. But being world class in multiple areas is the key to being a new age millionaire. And I wanna help you get the seven figures because I'll tell you, if you've gotten the six or you have a good work ethic and you're willing to learn and get around the right people, you can get the seven. You would have told me I was gonna make seven figures, I would have bet money that I would never get there. There was no one I knew that was a millionaire when I was growing up, no one in my town that I ever talked to or knew. I was even hesitant to make six figures. But from these things I'm gonna talk about, I was able to do that. But I did it and I was still working a lot. So when I finally realized that my most important values are family, peace of mind, autonomy, flexibility, I had to change some things up. That's when I came up with these seven key untold truths of a seven figure lifestyle, right? So being world class in multiple areas is, is a great way to differentiate yourself already from the competition, but more than that, it's a good way to stay fulfilled and maximize your progress, your resources, your business, but do it in a way that makes you happy. Right? How many people do we know that has everything in our eyes, like fame, success, money, but they're super depressed, right? So these are the things that will keep you grounded, but also hungry for more. So we talked about world-class self-awareness. We talked about world-class circle of genius and relationships, how to leverage those. And we talked about world-class health, energy, and peace of mind. Now we're gonna dive into the last four. World-class financial freedom and wealth, world-class hustle and grind, what vehicle you're using, world-class branding and positioning, and world-class impact and legacy. Now if you have six of these, but not one, you won't be fully fulfilled. If you have self-awareness, great circle of influence, great health and energy, financially free, branding and positioning, you got impact and legacy, but you hate what you do, doesn't work that way. You have all the other things, but you have no financial freedom. You don't have choices, right? So that's why they all work together. So world-class financial freedom. I believe this is the greatest time in human history to, to be alive. Because of some of these habits and tactics I'm gonna talk about, there's more wealth being created than ever. Over 620,000 millionaires created every single year in the US and more wealth is being created than ever before. There's more money being exchanged than ever before and when the economy doesn't do well, and if we go through a crash, which we inevitably will, when the economy doesn't do well, the money doesn't disappear. This was such an eye opener for me because I was, I was, I don't want to say I was raised, but I was in the environment I was in. This was a common philosophy. When the economy's down, save your money, like store for the winter, be super, super. Uh, I don't know what the word is. Um, fragile, nimble. No, what is it? Be frugal. That's it. Be super frugal, and. When the economy's down, it's like save, save, save uh, and, and have fear, right? But I realized that when the economy doesn't do well, the money doesn't disappear. It just transfers to successful people that do these things I'm gonna talk about, right? And more people are struggling than ever. So there's this disconnect where people are crushing it, making millions, and some people are struggling. The rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer. There's no shortage of money and wealth. There's only a shortage of people willing to change, willing to understand how to become more valuable and willing to learn how money works. 
I commend you guys for listening and watching this because you're part of the select few that invest in their mindset, in their brain, in their intelligence to learn better ways to do things to cut your learning curve in half. Much respect. That's why I do this, right? So most people aren't willing to learn how money works, but when you start creating financial freedom for yourself and for those closest to you, you realize that it's not about the money, but money provides you with the flexibility and freedom to do what you want, when you want, with whoever you want on your terms, right? So there's so many new millionaires, but only 1% of the US population are millionaires. So there's so many being created, but it's still one to 5%, right? So understanding that you have to get crystal clear on A, how to make it. Have a vehicle, which is the next thing we'll talk about, but you gotta have a vehicle on how to make it. And two, how to protect it, leverage it, make it work for you and how to protect your future, right? So it, it's time to get crystal clear on how to become financially free. Uh, less than 5% of society is financially free by 65. According to the Employee Benefits Research Institute, 96% of employed Americans will not be able to collect their full social security retirement benefits. 44% of Americans don't have enough cash to cover a $400 emergency and 33% of American adults have zero saved for retirement. America has a major financial literacy issue and it's time to solve it. That's why this is so important to master. And I, I get if you didn't grow up with money or you've your parents have said money's bad, it's time to shift that. Okay, money's an excellent servant but a terrible master. But it's time to get crystal clear, right? To have a prosperous future. It's time to start thinking about money in a better light because most of society thinks that people who focus on money are greedy, but those are usually people that are broke and not financially free. So there's four things successful people invest in. Then we'll move on to the next. Number one, back in themselves. Uh, courses, um, things that sharpen the perspective, uh, mentorship, mindset training, um, whether it's investing, something that sharpens their perspective, mentorship, masterminds, seminars, academies, things like that, right? That's number one. They invest in themselves to make better decisions, to cut their learning curve in half, to pay for speed, and to go quicker. Second thing they invest in, once they invest, and these are in order, by the way, once they invest in themselves and they bet on themselves, they start making more money, obviously. Think about it logically. What else would you invest in? Most people invest in material things to make up for their insecurities, but the, the best thing you can invest in for self-worth, self-confidence, for sharpening your skills is yourself. Think about it. I've invested hundreds of thousands of dollars in the last 10 or 15 years into myself, right? Second thing is back in the business. So when you're, when you're creating a business, a business that solves a problem, and you're looking to brand that business, you gotta invest back in personnel, in team building, in an assistant, in marketing, and in things that help grow the business, right? That's second. Three, assets that make your money work for you. So once you start making money, you invest in yourself and the business, the business starts crushing it, invest the money back in the business, but also back in real estate or angel invest or multifamily duplex. I just talked to Tarek uh, El Musa, who's the star of the HGTV show uh, Flip or Flop. I also talked to Ryan Serhant, who also does Million Dollar Listing. And they, they would agree because they're in real estate, but they've been flipping and investing and, and doing real estate for years. It's the best place to invest your money to make it work for you, right? So third is investing in assets that make money work for you. Fourth is memorable experiences. Experiences that, that are memorable, that allow you to be super fulfilled, motivated, and have a whole different level of purpose. Imagine taking your family on a two-week all-expense-paid vacation to Fiji, to Europe, to Dubai, right? Imagine how motivated you'll be to continue making more money. And imagine being there and making money while you're gone, right? Those are the four things. So comment below, how important is money to you? I would love to hear, comment below, is there any bad philosophies or anything that you were told growing up that was uh, not serving you well or, or that, that you had to get rid of? Comment below your, your perspective on money, I'd love to hear it. Next, world-class hustle and grind, okay? Forbes says 71% of employees are actively disengaged at work and don't like what they do. Most people can't stand what they spend the majority of their life doing. Creating a career and opportunity you not only enjoy, but one that's connected to your strengths and gifts might be the most important focus yet. The attitude you bring to your days determines your future. And it's extremely important for you to be loving what you're doing or you shouldn't be doing it. The only 
the only way I feel like to become the best at what you do is to enjoy what you do, right? Is to enjoy. Maybe it's an outlet. I don't know. But the best way to, to, to get good at something is to enjoy it. And usually when you enjoy it, it's a, a direct reflection of you getting good at it and having results in it, right? World-class hustle means loving and appreciating what you do daily. It means something that's going to keep you fascinated and engaged years to come. It doesn't mean every day is perfect, but it, it means you have a bigger vision for what you do, so it makes it easier to push through, right? It takes focused patience, but it takes awareness. And once you sell yourself that this is what you're going to do, then you go all in and it becomes easier. Like purposely choosing or creating your ideal profession is crucial to a world-class life. When you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. Yes, circumstances come up. Yes, life hits you. But you are in control of your future through the choices you make. And life's not easy nor promise, so it's how you adapt and adjust that determines what happens next. It's worth not settling and hustling for something that you feel like you would die for and you love doing it because you see a big picture and you see... A future in that, right? So think about your vehicle. I, I just want you to understand um, the importance of vehicle. I, I have something that I wrote that I want to share with you. I got to find it though. But yeah, the right vehicle is so important. So think about right now, are you in the right vehicle? Um, what's more important, the journey or the destination? I'll find it later. What's more important, the journey or the destination? Think about it. Well, the answer is neither if you don't have the right vehicle. And vehicle meaning opportunity, job, career, means to an end. What One that, that is congruent with your vision, your values, and one that will keep you excited, right? So think about that. The journey and the destination are both not important if you don't have the right vehicle because you won't enjoy either. How many people spend years doing something and then they realize, it's, this wasn't for me? Or they go to college and they feel like they get a degree in law and they have to be a lawyer. Then they hate it, but they say, well, I got a degree. I have to do it. No, you don't. You can change it any second. Tarek said when he was 21, he's got, he got his real estate license and he was at a crossroads. He's like, I could either go to school in college. He was in college. I can go to school or I can do real estate. It's not, I can do both. It's I can do one or the other really good. And he chose real estate because he wanted to actually make money. So he left his books. He left all his backpack and stuff behind and even, didn't even get it. He's like, I wanted to burn the bridges and I wanted to go all in on real estate. Right? So he knew that was his avenue and he adapted and adjusted. Now he does flipping homes and he's done 500 plus homes, right? So keep that in mind. World-class hustle. Big, big key. Got it? Cool. So once again, comment one thing you're, you're going to do to improve maybe your vehicle, maybe your money situation. Hit that like button if you're agreeing with these as well. But I, I just, I, I really want to share with you, you don't have to do what you hate. Yes, there's sacrifice, but if you see the big picture, if what you're doing now, if you're working, 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 working to eventually build a business that works on its own or you're building something where it's eventually going to allow you freedom, there's a different level of focus when you're going through the struggle versus something that you hate working, making someone else wealthy, right? Next is world-class positioning and branding. There's an untold secret that most influencers and entrepreneurs and celebrities don't want you to know, and it's about branding. And when you figure this out, everything becomes easier. So once you build a business, once you have financial freedom, if you have a brand that's positioned well, like the proper branding and positioning can be the difference between a company thriving and a company going out of business, right? They're very important marketing terms. So while they are related to each other, they have very distinct meanings important for you to understand. Most businesses can conceptualize both, but they do a horrible job executing both. In order to rise above the noise in a crowded marketplace, you need to execute on both with purpose and intention. Let me give you an example. So after transitioning out of direct sales in 2013, I wanted to get paid as a speaker. I wanted to get featured on podcasts. I wanted to get featured in Entrepreneur Magazine and Forbes. I wanted to scale my impact and reach more people. I would spend weeks and months reaching out to, to all my connections, emailing companies, and doing everything I could to make any of these things happen, literally any of them. Crickets. Crickets. So I'm like, what do I need to do? I couldn't even get a free speech booked, right? I spent months trying to get myself out there with no luck. I've now been approached by Forbes magazine three or four different times. I have a partnership with Entrepreneur Magazine and Success Magazine. 
Uh, my last 15 plus speeches have been a result of people reaching out to me and not me reaching out to anybody. I've gotten paid partnerships with Marriott, Sony, Bose, Staples, um, and all these other companies. But what's changed? My positioning and branding and how I'm viewed in the marketplace. When you position yourself the right way as the go-to company, there's no you no longer have to spend as much money on, on marketing and as much time on chasing clients down and chasing opportunities down, right? This is something I'll dive into later, but the worst thing you can be is just another. Don't be just another agent. Don't be just another speaker, just another author, just another podcast host. You gotta really figure out what makes you unique. When you're properly positioned, you can attract the right people. So the question is, why should people choose your brand, your product, or your service over everybody else? What makes your business different, and why should people choose you versus every other business? Why should people listen to your music rather than the band down the street who wants it just as badly? Why should somebody join your team versus every other team available? Uh, Why should companies book you as speakers versus every other speaker on the planet? Why should someone buy a house from you versus every other real estate agent? What do you want to be known for? Instead of chasing clients, position yourself. Be somebody. You got to do something, but be somebody that's known for doing something, right? World-class branding and positioning. Lastly, world-class impact and legacy. I think the ultimate goal of life is to give our lives a meaning and inspire people that come next. How much difference are you making in just the world around you? Not even the world, uh, not even the main, like the whole planet, but just the world around you. My neighbors are following me on Instagram and they're 14 and 15. My uh, my brother-in-law, one of them is, is I think 13 now, he's following me. I have a lot of kids following me and that, that I don't take that lightly. And I want to make sure I'm always over delivering, setting a great example, being world class, adding value because I know a lot of kids look up to me for inspiration because I was that kid that had no inspiration around me. And I was that kid that looked for outside uh, influence to inspire me of, of what's possible, right? Keep that in mind. So I did, I did a rant on a jet a while back and I did something where... Um, I, I shifted my mindset because I'm not, I don't do these things for the people that hate, right? Because they're always going to hate. You'll never meet a successful hater. So the purpose in my head is if I can inspire one kid like me when I was younger, one kid to say, you know, that's, that's awesome. I really want to be an entrepreneur and I get 50 haters. Amazing. I've done my job because that one kid will actually use it. There'll be haters always. Right? They, that's their favorite thing to do and usually you make up for their insecurities and they want to drag somebody down. Right, So if someone's like, oh, Peter's flexing on a jet, that's fine. That's irrelevant. It goes in one ear and out the other. If I inspire one kid and get 50 haters, I, I'm excited. I've done my job because I impacted that one kid. That's legacy. And you have to be polarizing. You can't build a legacy pleasing people. You build a legacy being polarizing so half the world respects you and likes you and half the world doesn't because you have such a polarizing point of view. You're never going to meet a legend that is just all right. No one's going to be like, ah, Donald Trump's all right. Ah, Elon Musk is all right. Ah, LeBron James, Michael Jordan, Kanye West, they're all right. You have a strong opinion about them, right? Think about it because they're polarizing. So are you adding consistent value to improve the lives of others? You will receive from life in the marketplace the results you're in direct proportion to the amount of value you give. Right? I think generosity is a huge key to not just happiness, but building a legacy. So realize that every tweet, every blog post, every conversation, every podcast, every video you put out, it's part of your legacy. Everything matters. Your legacy is a combination of your life's story. You can't rewrite your past, but you can author your future script. Right. So just make sure you strategically analyze each and every action you take, word you utter and post you share because it's all contributing. Right. I want to be 80, 90 years old looking back like, you know, I have no regrets. I I found out what I was made of. I realized that I gave my all and made a difference. I set an example for my kids and their kids. I'm excited and I have no regrets, right? That's crucial. So understand that because it's something new for a lot of people, creating a legacy or something to outlast them. But if you can do that, I promise it's so rewarding right? So let's simplify. By the way, 
Um, I want you to comment below which one you're going to focus on first. And then once that's mastered, choose the next one, right? This is a little more personal and, and, and off the cuff for you because I just realized how important all seven of these are. World-class self-awareness, rate yourself one to 10. World-class circle of genius, rate yourself one to 10. World-class health, energy, and peace of mind, rate yourself one to 10. World-class financial freedom and wealth, rate yourself. World-class hustle and grind, world-class branding and positioning, world-class impact and legacy. Rate yourself and let me know which one you're gonna focus on first. Thanks again, guys. Hope you got some amazing value. Um, make sure you subscribe below. And uh, I look forward to continue adding value on the next one. Till then, live a life and a business on your terms. Appreciate you. Hey, what's up, guys? If you like this video, I think you'll really enjoy these videos right here. And also, please make sure you subscribe. Hit the subscribe button below. We have a lot of amazing content coming out. See you guys soon.